Hey guys, it's Rod with Civil Advantage Firearms Training and with a heavy heart, I must announce the death of my Norinco CQA 5.56. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, so as I said in the uh, in the introduction, the old Norinco CQA 5.56 has now died. It's been a really great reliable rifle. As you guys know, I did the definitive review a little while ago. It was still running. I was having some slight problems with it. Uh, then the problems got worse. If you guys remember, I did those couple of quick videos that to uh, help me fix my rifle. Well, yesterday at the range, this thing was failing left and right, double feeds, it never double was prone to double feeds before, but it was failing all over the place. And so luckily I had some experts around me at the time, uh, ex-military, avid reloader, plus I had some, uh, some other avid shooters and ad, uh, avid reloaders around to, to help me uh, uh, diagnose what this, uh, what this issue was. So I'm, I don't reload. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. I'm not a gunsmith. So I really appreciated the help of, uh, of the guys at the range yesterday. But we finally figured out what the problem with this rifle is. The problem, if you guys remember back from that video, I was getting these things that I can only describe as shavings. And they were inside the, the bolt carrier. They were inside the bolt carrier between the plunger side of the firing pin and the front of the bolt, right in the area, if you look at this rifle right in the area here where the gas vents are on the bolt. And what would happen is I'd shoot 30, 40 rounds and then the, the gun would fail. I'd have to yank the firing pin out of the bolt carrier and then all these little pieces would fall out. So uh, some of the people that were at the range yesterday were shocked. They're like, what the heck is that? And I'm like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I can tell you what it is, it's not good. Um, so we finally figured out what it was. So get this. And this will tie into what this video is about. What, what is going on? This is the mystery categorically 100% solved. What's going on is this barrel is so worn out that the bullet travels down the barrel. The gas port um, is exposed. Basically, there's a ridge in the gas port exposed, the, probably the leading edge of it. And it's shaving a piece of the jacket off the bullet. Because it's shaved off and it's already in the gas port, because these pieces are really small. I think in the video, people didn't realize how small these pieces are. It would shave off a piece of the bullet. Because it's already up into the gas port, the gases would push it up through the gas block, all the way down the, uh, the gas tube and through the gas key, because I tested it. I actually dropped these pieces into the gas key and out they come right into the bolt carrier group. And it fills up the bolt carrier group to where the firing pin is jammed. So of course, no one had ever seen that before. They're like, what the heck is this? I'm like, mm, I don't know. The deal is, is that this barrel is so worn out that from the you know, 12,000 rounds, I think is what I shot. It was a lot slower lately because of the malfunctions, but probably 12,000 rounds and this thing is done. So this upper is, uh, is finished. So this gun has lasted me. I mean, probably one of the first videos I ever did was uh, my review of this, uh, of this rifle. So that's what, uh, that's the, the end of the story, guys. Uh, 10 to 12,000 rounds, and this upper is worn out. Uh, yesterday I had failures to extract, and they weren't even, you know, split casings or anything like that. Uh, I was having double feeds, fail, failures to extract. I took a cleaning rod, poked that casing on, it wasn't even hard. So it's just, I think this upper is just done. Now with Norinco, you can get a brand new upper of 14 and a half inch like this for $4.99 but the, the lower still works great, all the rest of that stuff, but uh, I'm not sure. So this gun is finished. Now, you might be thinking, well, what, what happens now? Wait a second, look, bam, Olympic Arms, PPFT. Look at this guy, uh, flat top all the way. This is the replacement. I'm really excited to have an American made AR now. Uh, Olympic Arms is really making a push into Canada. 
uh, really competitive pricing. You can get these at, uh, at uh, International Shooting Supplies for $8.99 for an American made AR. I'm not going to call this a heavy barrel, but definitely it's not contoured. Uh, I don't have a grenade launcher anyway, so that's not, you know, no problem for me. But uh, completely flat, so you don't even get a carry handle or anything, but you have the proper size gas block for flip up sights and of course the flat top on this side. So uh, I shot about 100 rounds to this gun, broke it in yesterday, really pleased, very smooth, uh, just, just beautiful. So I'm really excited about this. And I'll tell you this, you guys are going to see a lot more about Olympic arms as I, as my journey, you know, through this rifle happens. And, uh, I'm going to be doing a, a, I'm very interested in Olympic arms right now because of the great price point and how far they've come as a manufacturer. They've been making these things forever. Uh, they went through a modernization a few years ago and, uh, they're making awesome ARs. Uh, they're used by law, law enforcement many many rifles too not just like uh, we sold 10 to an agency you know five years ago like they're really adopting this rifle so i'm really excited about it so all the accessories on this guy are coming on to this guy uh probably today and uh what am i going to do with this rifle well i got a lower that works i got some parts here that are maybe salvageable uh, but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to deactivate this firearm i'm going to disable it and use it in the canadian firearm safety course so you know how many instructors out there have an ar in the class for students to play around with and uh, and to get excited about so i'm i'm really i'm stoked about that uh, so we'll have an ar to play with uh, in the class anyway uh that's the deal so the Norinco lasted what 10 to 12,000 rounds um, but uh, its time has passed anyway as I said uh, earlier more to come on the Olympic arms uh, thanks for watching if you want to follow us on Twitter you can at civil advantage one or you can find us on the web at www.civiladvantage.com thanks and we will see you next time